Hello, Mark Johnson here, age 64, and I gave you my age because I want you to know you can be fit into your 60s, and I try to demonstrate that by taking on physical challenges that most people half my age can't do. Recently, uh, a video I had on doing functional strength had been around for four months, had about 300, 200 views, I guess, and I had about 300 subscribers. And I don't know why, but in a two and a half week period, it took off and has now had 200,000 plus views, and my subscribers went up to over 4,000. So maybe some of you are people who saw that video. But I had a lot of great comments, and one of the comments that came quite a bit is how do you work up to some of those exercises if you can't do them. So I thought I would take just a short video here and explain, and I will use pistol squat as an example. So first of all, decide what it is you wanna accomplish, and hopefully, uh, of course, it's something that you think you have the potential to accomplish. That's the starting point. And then the next thing is to figure out where are you in terms of your starting point. And let me give you an example on the pistol squat. When I first started, all I did is I took like a chair and I did the pistol squat on a chair, just like that. So, and then, uh, you know, switch legs. So what I suggest is starting with something like that, whatever height you can do, do like maybe three to five good reps, both legs. And once you can do that, then find something a little lower, maybe an inch lower, maybe another chair, a shorter chair, maybe a stool, like a footstool. I eventually had like three pieces of wood at different uh, thicknesses, and I would just keep lowering an inch at a time until eventually I could do the regular pistol squat with nothing. Now, when you do it, don't sit on the chair and take the pressure off your legs, but go down just until you touch and back up. So with that, you can eventually ho hopefully work up to the pistol squat. But two other keys, one would be negatives, negatives. So what you could do uh, once you can't do anymore is you could do just the negative portion, just the lowering portion, and then maybe stand up and then just the negative portions. Now, when you do the negatives, it's good to go slow. Maybe twice as slow is when you go up. And then a third strategy is a static hold. Static hold is when you go to a certain length and then you just try to hold it there. Maybe find the sticking point where it's hardest for you and just hold it. And you could combine all three. You could do the uh, full movements on the chair or where, whatever height you're on, when you can't do any more, then you could throw in a couple of negatives. And then when you can't do those with good form, then you could just do a static hold or any combination of those. And once you understand that progressions, negatives, and static holds, you can apply that to anything. For example, push-ups. Let's say you want to do a one-arm push-up, but you can't even do a regular push-up. Well, start on your knees and maybe your knees, you know, fairly close. And then as you can do those, you move your knees further and further out till you can do a regular push-up. If you can't do a knee push-up, you could have your hands on books or something like that. And then once you can do regular push-ups, uh, you can do negatives slowly. Uh, you, you could do negatives with one arm and then you could do static holds with one arm. And so eventually you could work up to a one arm push up. So whatever the goal is, once you understand about progressions, negatives and static holds, you can be creative and start where you're at. And by the way, uh, give yourself like at least a, a day off between each workout so you have time to recover. If you're doing a, something that requires skill, like walking on your hands, you may not need the, uh, you know, the recovery time. But when you're doing something that takes uh, increase in strength, uh, then you also need the recovery time. So I hope that helps. Give it a try. Uh, ask any questions you may have. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe. Uh, pass this along to friends that might be helpful for. And uh, hit notifications so you can be notified when the next video comes out. So till next time, here's to your health. 
both physically and especially spiritually. 